that was your first introduction today before Karen takes over of what you need to do to become a sports coach, which is set challenges to the people in front of you, do some skills, make it easier or harder, because some people can do it, some people can't do it, and then the most important thing was you were all smiling and having fun, and that's what I really wanted for the start of today. So thank you all for doing that. Oh, helping you and helping children be the safe. The Protection Under Children Act, I've done that. Right. And all of the different people and organisations that are also involved. So, if you're looking over here, a question for everyone looking at this table, and come round and have a look. Can you do, can you do me a favour? I want you to count for me all of the different laws and acts that help children be safe in sport. And if you're looking at this table, I don't want you to count the laws, I want you to count all the different people involved. So, okay. count the people, and you count the laws. Um, Michelle, do you do much sport? Yeah. Do you? Women. Swimming. After. After. After water. Aqua. Aqua. Yeah. Um, so, for the course that you did for us, um, what did you have to adapt ready for the course from your standard course that you usually deliver? Okay, so pretty much the only adaptation was in the slides. Uh, the, the course itself is quite um, PowerPoint heavy and Jane and her colleagues uh, totally rewrote the slides. They uh, reduced that to about 12 or 14 slides, took out m nearly all of the wording and replaced the slides with very straightforward basic pictures. Um, and then the content of the course, from my tutor notes, I, I didn't deviate from in the slightest. Okay. Um, I might have changed some of the wording, the way I delivered it. I probably made it a little more practical uh, than I would have. And I maybe took out a couple of elements that I thought wouldn't suit the, the learners. But on the whole, we did absolutely everything as per the, the traditional course. No, nor do I, because it's up to you. It's your imagination for the fourth ball. Okay. The fourth ball challenge is anything you can do with a tennis ball right. that's different. Okay. I, I can't see like that's 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 right. You've got to use your imagination. Yeah, you Loads of things. Yeah. yeah. Do you, Vicky? Do you do no, you? I have to say I don't. Not as much as I would like to, because I don't have as much it. time to. I used to be very fond of Tai Chi. I did that yeah, for getting, mm. getting close to it. five or six years, oh. and then um, wow. I've done it that, yeah. since. I like going to the gym and I like swimming. And how are you finding the course this morning? <laughs> all right, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> good. Are you learning? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good to. <laughs> I've done safeguarding training before and actually it's nice to have it done this way because I think we're all absorbing it better than perhaps we would when it's more wordy. Yeah, I definitely am. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 How are you finding the course, Bob? How am I? How are you finding the course? Yeah, uh, yeah it's good and it's good to see all the others engaging in it really. Uh, and they have, they've engaged in it quite a lot. There's lots of relevant questions I think have been asked. And... Were you part of the um, team that made the course accessible, Michelle? Yeah. Did you do the small talk for this? Yeah, course? Yes. I forgot they were yeah. watching stuff on the That must Michelle, have been a big project. Mm -hmm. Matt and Wayne, Matt and Wayne Michelle is quite a key person in our small talk mm -hmm. stuff, aren't you? Yeah. Because you're very knowledgeable yeah. in yeah. signing. Yeah. Um, you're not a reader, are you? So you need to have everything in picture yeah. version. Yeah. yeah. To make it accessible for you. Yeah. So Michelle and I often work together on small talk work information. Yeah. And Michelle chooses pictures that she yeah. thinks work for her and, and the rest of the group. Mm. There is a fire station in there, Good. Tom, how are you finding the course this morning? I'm finding it very interesting so far. Like I, did, I didn't know there was like that many acts and legislations in place. I mean, I figured there'd be a good number, but not, not that many. Yeah. So it's yeah. very interesting to, to learn about the, all the necessary like, information you need 
to do child safeguarding and child protection like properly and learning the difference between those two as well was quite interesting. Yeah. How are you finding the way it's pitched? Is it the right sort of um, amount of information for you? I think it's a, it's a fine inf amount of information. I've done some pretty difficult courses so I'm fine with the amount of information but I like the fact that it's not just like death by paperwork which you get on a lot of courses <laughs> yeah. death by bits of paper yeah. what about that last um, piece of paper that she gave us with the diagram how I think it's quite that? good to show it's good for showing how everything is all linked together and how it all mm. works all those different bits work to towards the the safeguarding and the, you know, all the child protection and that yeah. were you um, were you part of the team that made this course accessible? Did you have anything to do with uh, Possibly, I haven't got the best memory. Right, okay. <coughs> Is there anything that you think could be made easier on the course for you? No. Do you think you're understanding it really well? Yeah. And, and why do you think? Better. It's better. What, what's helping you to understand it? Picture. Pictures. Pictures? Yeah. And I think Karen's approach to it is really, really good. Yeah. She's using simple language, yeah. breaking it down yeah. um, in a ways that we can all understand. Yeah. yeah. Great. Brilliant. Do either of you do much sport? I do weightlifting at the gym, that's about it. Oh. Once a week. I don't really play sports properly. I'm, I'm part of a football team on a Friday, so oh. I, I've joined the football team. I've only been there for about five or six months now. Oh yeah. Are there any sports that you'd like to do that you don't do? I don't think there's any like martial arts groups in Oakhampton, because there used to be. There is the kickboxing club in the, in the Guild Hall, but... Oh, that's it though? Yeah. Okay. There's like one martial arts group and that's it though, and I don't really fancy kickboxing. So it just doesn't doesn't suit your interests. No, okay. like a boxing group might be nice. Mm. Yeah, I mean I like archery, I like bowling, I like kayaking. I like I've all done kayaking of, before. All sorts of sports, and you know I, <laughs> you know you get a lot out of it. Mm. What did you all think about the slides? Because the slides were the ones that you did, weren't they? The ones that compared to the, the compared to the other. Compared yeah, yeah. to the ones that we did, uh, that we had with Dom a few weeks ago, they were a lot better. Cool. Having did tried it, is there anything that anyone would change next time from the ones we did? Yeah. What did you think of the pictures? Better. Good. Me. Good. Could they have been any better? Or were they good? No. Good. Cool. I think Karen was brilliant in her use of simple language um, oh, and making, it, making it easy for me to understand. I'm making it not boring. I've sat through endless safeguarding courses and actually that was more fun than I've ever had in safeguarding courses. Um, did I learn less because we'd taken more of that? Absolutely not. I remember far more of what we did today. I think that's the course you should run through. Um, what about this? What, what, what do we think of this? I actually, I have to say, I thought this would be completely inaccessible and I found this rather more useful than I thought I would. Yeah, it was quite a nice idea. The, the, the thing that impressed me about that is all the facts that it has. It's got lots of words. It's, it's got lots of, it's really, got loads of pictures and lots of Yeah, but it doesn't use like really stupidly complicated languages. It's going to make sense to 90% of people out there. It's got like notes at the back. Cool. Rebecca likes it. It's got space for you to write things into it delivered for us. If we were to ask you to deliver another one for a separate group of guys, anything you would change? Would you change the way you delivered it or do you feel it went well enough that that is the way you deliver it for another course? I, I can't think of anything I would change. Um, we, we set up a bit of practical at the beginning just to get them all um, energised and working together. That worked really well. Um, the space I think was the only thing that was slightly limiting was the outdoor space wasn't great and the layout of the indoor space um, was, was a little on the cramped side and obviously I hadn't had a chance to check out that space beforehand. Having said that, it was a space that the learners felt very comfortable in, yeah. so it suited them. Um, but as far as the content and as far as the presentation was concerned, I would deliver it exactly the same. Brilliant, thank you. So are you doing any sport at the moment? Um, 
not at the moment, but I am trying to get back in the tile bot and, and then and then try to do the fit hole fight one. Where do you do much sport yourself? Not, not now. Uh, I've, I've got my own disability anyway, which restricts me. Uh, and I've got vision problems as well, which prevents me from most ball games because I can't judge distance. So anything with a ball is normally <laughs> quite challenging and probably quite amusing for the others that are watching, really. <laughs> I mean, it's got like it's, it's got all the relevant information in there that that a person needs. It's got all the websites. It's got all the facts. It's got. Got the notes at the back. Yeah. It's got notes at the back, like Rebecca said, just to say. It's got a note section, isn't it? You know, it's mm -hmm. it's got many different things, and it's a it's a valuable book. In, in my view, it's a valuable and book. More and more these days, resources are becoming available on the internet like little videos mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, if you yeah. struggle to read your yeah. book we can signpost you to places on YouTube, uh, YouTube and on the NSPCC website where the scenarios instead of being written down they're acted out yeah, yeah, right. yeah like, like, what were your expectations of the course how did you how were you feeling beforehand and how did you feel after uh, I think as far as the course was concerned I I was a little bit cautious. I didn't really know until I got there how I was going to deliver it. Yeah. Um, Jane had been brilliant in the lead up and she had guided me through um, almost what to do and what to expect on the day and that was really, really helpful. So in the lead up, I, I think I was quite apprehensive. Um, I've not worked with people with autism before so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but I think on the day it went really well. Um, it couldn't have gone better, really. The support I had from the support workers and from Jane was excellent. Cool. Um, and and it, we just delivered it. To be fair, like we would deliver any other course. I think the adaptations we made were very. It's finished. Um, what were your feelings after the course? Um, happy, glad it was over. Really, really pleased with the way it went. Um, I was really pleased with the way it went. I was. Uh, overjoyed at how uh, engaged the learners were from start to finish. Um, they were all really interested through all of the elements of the course um, and, and that surprised me. Um, so yeah, I, I can't think of anything say I, I would do differently. I, I would do it all exactly the same. Um, I would possibly plan the end. There was a bit at the end um, which you, you always don't get a chance to plan the end bit as yeah. well as you do the first three quarters. Yeah. So I might just tweak that slightly. Um, but I think we, we finished on time. Uh, we stuck to what we had to do. Um, and I, yeah, I really loved it. I, I was chuffed to bits that it went as well as it did. And I would be more than happy to run another one. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, the feedback we got from the guys, they really enjoyed it and felt they really learned from it because for a safeguarding course, it was, yeah. it was really, really interesting, so it was really good. Thank you. I, I think one of the things that we, we did do deliberately was we kept it really practical and we made it very interactive so that it wasn't about me talking to them all the time. I kept my, my talking to a minimum and we did lots of workshop, um, mini workshop sessions which allowed them to um, get across uh, uh, their knowledge. And one of the things I was really surprised about was the level of knowledge that they had about the subject matter. Yeah. Um, and that allowed us to move on, I think, at quite a fair speed sometimes because they, they did know um, sometimes as much as I knew about the subject and that was quite refreshing. Cool.